Hi friends, in this video I will quickly show you how to make what I like to call the one and a half step impression technique. This is because the putty and the light body are setting together, but I seat the tray into the patient's mouth twice. So it's neither a typical one step nor is it a two step, so I call it the one and a half step. And this is something that I use only and only for making my diagnostic impressions. All right, This is not for your crown and bridge dentistry. First things first, I have selected my impression tray. Although this is a perforated tray, I personally believe at all times it is compulsory for me to apply tray adhesive. It's important to recognize where all this tray adhesive applied. It is applied primarily in this region, which is where your occlusal imprints are going to be registered. At the same time, we will apply this most importantly on the rim. This area is very critical. This is where impression materials tend to separate from the tray. So make sure you've applied a decent amount. Now, because we're making a diagnostic impression for a splint, I will also apply tray adhesive in the center of the palate. This is because I intend on recording that area. Now, if I'm regularly making an FPD impression, I would not apply my tray adhesive here. I would apply it only and only over the occlusal surfaces and the peripheral rim. Now what is important to remember is the tray adhesive needs time to set. That's when it becomes sticky. That's between four to six minutes. So don't be in a hurry. It helps to select a tray and apply the tray adhesive beforehand and then go ahead and register the impression. All right, so here we have loaded the tray with the putty material. I take this into the patient's mouth, orient it in the patient's facial midline, seat it down until I feel an adequate material roll is present in the vestibular region. Now before the material has completely set, I'm going to tweak the tray. I move it from side to side a little, I move it forward and back a little. This is just to create some space for the light body. I remove this out, that is what I have gotten. So what I now do is I take my index finger and I pinch the material inwards. As if removing all the interdental papilla, I push the vestibular flanges outwards. Remember the material is not set. I take my light body, I dispense it all the way from one surface without lifting it all towards the other. It's important to use a light body that has good flow properties. I'm going from one side all the way to the other. I also place a little on the palatal portion. Take it back into the patient's mouth and seat it down. Right, this. That's good. All right, very gently. It's important that this time you do not over press because the light body will completely flow out and not stay in the critical areas. Now allow this material about four minutes to set. Start please. I personally prefer to keep a timer in front of the patient. This is because these four minutes can often be the slowest four minutes of your patient's life and the patient's mouth is just suspended open. It helps for the patient to know that when it beeps, that is when the four minutes are over and I will be removing the tray out from the patient's mouth. I have been holding this tray in the patient's mouth for almost four minutes. In the next few seconds, the alarm goes off. That is when I go ahead and retrieve the impression from the patient's mouth. Here we go. Open this. Always remove it with a snap so that you don't land up distorting the material at all. Perfect. Thank you. Let's quickly come in and have a look at the impression. You can acknowledge how beautifully every margin of every tooth has been recorded brilliantly in the light body. Also, you can see the entire palatal mucosa has been recorded. This is a very nice impression for a diagnostic cast pouring. All right, so the one and a half step technique, friends, works brilliantly. Once again, for such impressions, please make sure you do not follow this technique for your crown and bridge dentistry. Thank you.